Welcome to the Spanish Explorers video. The rest of my study hall is coming in now, so you'll hear some noise. Um, but while I'm waiting, just enjoy this hat that I have on, the globe in the background, down a little bit so they can see, and the sword. Okay, open your notes to page four or five, and we're going to discuss, discuss the Spanish Explorers. Now, there were two major Spanish explorers that we want to look at, um, and during these notes, we'll look at them, and then we'll talk about this idea that Spain had of conquering and uh, controlling North and South America. So, after Columbus arrived in North America, or in, in the Caribbean, uh, he set up a centralized an outpost, basically, on Cuba and Hispaniola. And Spain used Cuba to do their colonization and their uh, conquest of Central and South America. It's a central location. Notice Cuba's right in the middle. That's what central location means. So they could uh, leave from Cuba and conquer the local tribes and local civilizations. A conquistador is just that. A conquistador is a Spanish explorer or conqueror who came for gold and glory. And typically, they were very ruthless. They did not really care about human life, the Native American life. Uh, they instead cared about making money and making a name for themselves. Two of those very famous uh, conquistadors were Hernando de Cortez and Juan Pizarro. Both conquered very advanced Native American civilizations in Central and South America. Uh, Cortez conquered the Aztecs, and he used a very small amount of men, but high, very powerful technology to, camp, uh, to uh, conquer. I cannot think with that thing spinning. <laughs> Just slow it down. Man. So Cortez conquered the Aztec, and then Pizarro conquered the Inca. Remember, the Inca lived in South America, down in the Andes Mountains. Point to that. Let's test you. Show the video. Ah, yes. Right there. Right there. And what was interesting about it is that the both the Aztec and the Inca were quite weakened because of civil war and famine and um, other little tribes that they had conquered were rising up. So it was quite a, an accomplishment that Cortez and Pizarro conquered these two groups, uh, but it didn't seem to be all that difficult because of technology and weakening empires. So once they were wiped out and under control of the Spanish, all the land from Florida to California, including Mexico, Central America, and most of South America would become known as New Spain. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, uh, people that go and conquer land, they aren't all that creative usually with naming them. So New Spain is controlled by Spain. And that's about it for this one. I can't wait to figure out what we wear for costumes next.